How's it going everyone? I just finished cardio. Um, yeah, I am very, very sweaty at the moment. Uh, my heart rate's still up, so it's kind of, you can kind of tell, but I just finished doing the Stairmaster for 35 minutes on speed or difficulty 10. I don't know, speed, difficulty, level 10. And dang, it is hard. It is so hard to do that. I did it after my workout. I'm probably gonna start doing it in the mornings before my actual, you know, like lifting sessions. But look at this. I don't know if you can tell really, but no, you can't really tell because the whole shirt is like soaked, but you may can see that. Um, this is what the shirt is supposed to look like, kind of like a rot in there. And this is the rest of the shirt. So I'm literally drenched in sweat. Like I could probably wring this shirt out right now. And yeah, that's nasty, but like that's that's the truth. But I'm gonna set y'all up real quick and then I'll continue the video. Okay, I have y'all set up and the lighting is kind of weird because it's like half of my face, half not. But we'll, we're gonna make it work. So in this video, I just wanted to um, update what my new split is the new workout split because my coach Christopher sent me a new one today when we had our check-in call and that's why I had to uh, increase my cardio and I'm drenched in sweat right now because my cardio got increased but I will tell you that in just a second let me get it pulled up here um, so not much has changed it's basically the same uh, split like um, on Mondays I'll do upper body push Tuesdays our legs, Wednesdays like back and biceps, like that's the same, but the workouts have changed a little bit. So, um, like just for example, uh, on Monday it would be my push day, and I normally would start out with incline dumbbell press, and then a flat bench press, barbell, and then incline barbell, and now it's dumbbell bench press first, which dumbbell flat bench press. And then it goes into incline uh, barbell bench press and then dumbbell shoulder press. So like it's different, but still kind of the same. And then um, on my leg days, I usually do box sprints after my legs. Like after I do, uh, you know, like all the squats, hamstring curls, all that, I'll go straight into doing uh, box sprints as a top of like hit cardio. And usually it is um, five, five, five. So I'll do it like the, the set time for five, rest, do the set time again for five, rest, and then five, you know? But for those five, for each each of the five, it would be um, 15 on, 10 off. So that means I would like go as hard as I can for um, 15 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, and repeat that until I get to five, and then I'd rest. Now it's changed to 20 on, 15 off. So that's that's great. That is great. Love that. <laughs> it is gonna kill me. Um, but but overall, the leg workout isn't too bad. So it, it is a good way to like burn out and get it get those legs burning, you know. And then um, after the box sprints, I have abs. I don't think the abs have changed. The ab work, uh, routine is still the same. I do abs three times a week. So. I do them with my legs, and then on Saturday when I do back and biceps again. So Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then um, I do 40 yard sprints now instead of 30 yard sprints. So that isn't that much of a change, but still it's a, it's a slight change. And then he has added, he's added in a few extra exercises on at least today today's Wednesday by the way like on Wednesday it would normally it would normally just be back and biceps but he's added in like skull crushers and overhead tricep extensions with, with like in addition to that so it's a little bit of like it's kind of like back and arms in general so I do a little bit of triceps today too um, that looks about like all the changes he has made which I could go into like very specific detail on what he did with all the exercises but like it's a lot it's a lot of stuff so 
I'm not gonna just, like take all the time to go over it, but this is my split. This is what I do every day, like all in blue. Like I'll just give you an example. Like that's that's like Monday. I do all this on Monday. And in addition to that on Monday, I don't have abs at the end of this workout. And when I don't have abs, I do cardio. I do it three days a week. And that is now the 35 minutes on um, the Stairmaster on speed level difficulty 10, which is what I just did. And it is hard. And uh, it's, it's knowing I have to do that for the, like three times a week, not looking forward to it, but water's so good especially after you sweat it out like half a gallon but that is my new split I am really excited to start following it because I can tell just by the changes he's made this is more of like which I've been doing like a bodybuilding split but this is like a definite bodybuilding top workout with the exercises he's chosen and he's up my cardio, so that's just gonna make me more shredded and still following the same ab routine. Oh, 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 also, my calories have been lowered just a tad bit, so I was sticking to 2,700 calories for, I think it was the past, I know it was the past three weeks, it may have been four weeks. I think it was three weeks though, three or four weeks. I've been sticking at 2,700 calories and now I'm dropped to 2500 and my macros now are 200 grams of protein 65 grams of fat and 280 grams of carbs so I'm gonna be sticking to that along with the new you know routine that I just showed you so summer shredding is definitely begun now I've been doing it for I think today made just about two months maybe a little over two months I've been doing this whole thing but this is where like the real grind starts um, also got I also received the uh, information of when the show would be the summer shredding show and it is June 20th that is when I will be on stage so what is today today is March 24th so April May June I have less than three months so roughly roughly 12 weeks out and I'm currently at 100 and I've been weighing I've been ranging anywhere from 197 to 198.5 when I've been waking up in the mornings but with this with this calorie uh, decrease and the cardio upped and um, the box sprints and the regular 40 yard like the 40 yard sprints that's gonna help me burn more calories which is gonna drop my body fat down and my body weight so um, I'm looking to definitely start shredding probably at least a pound a week from this just because my deficit is getting lower so I'm excited about that um, I need to do some physique updates sorry just, I thought these people were like looking at me I need to do some physique updates starting soon because um, I didn't want to do them at first because I really wasn't I didn't like have much to show off um, I had a lot of fat covering me <laughs> just just to be plain and simple I had a lot of fat and I didn't really feel like doing uh, you know like showing that off I had no reason to show that off but now that I'm starting to get that guy that just walked by is huge by the way he's uh, also competing in a bodybuilding show but he's he's doing like the classic <laughs> he's a big dude um, but it's cool working out in there with him because we're both like gonna step on stage anyways to stay on track what was I saying Oh yeah, yeah, I was fat, basically. I was kind of fat and I didn't have a reason to show it off, but now that I'm like starting to lean out, I may start doing physique updates, which is, which will be cool though, because I'm starting to get abs for real now. But I just wanted to take the time to update y'all on what I'm doing now. And I will let y'all know if anything changes. I'll probably be following this for the next seven weeks. So. Thanks for watching and maybe you took some interest in what I'm doing with all this. So I will talk to y'all in the next one and hopefully I will not be dying of sweat next time.